Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question was Frederick, what does a PHP junior developer need to know in order to get a job? So let's get into it. Well, this is uh, it's a good question and hopefully I can give you a good answer to this because I c uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit tricky to answer this to 100% accuracy, but I will give you the big tools that are fairly common for most of most of us out there. So the first and foremost thing that you should know is that it, it doesn't matter if it's JavaScript, Java, PHP, Rails, or like whatever you type of development you do. The basics of development requires you to understand pretty much the same things as you would in any other language. There are language specific tools and we will touch on those as well, but let's just start with the stuff that is common for everybody. And that is to understand some form of object oriented programming. PHP and, and using PHP in an object oriented fashion is very much a, a, it's not a hard requirement, but it is more a rule than just, you know, an ex it's more a rule than an exception to that rule. So understanding like just basic programming practices to start off with is step number one. Then of course you need to understand what is a server, like what is a web server. A very good, a very common one is the Apache server for PHP as to start off with that. And then apart from knowing what a web server is and how web pages work and you know URLs and all that good stuff, you should learn some form of database. You need to be able to persist information. MySQL is a very popular one. It doesn't have to be MySQL, but it is very, very closely attached to PHP. If you're an absolute beginner, I can recommend the XAMPP, WAMP, and LAMP projects, which just will, it's basically a bootstrapping project that allows you to very quickly set up these boilerplate tools for PHP. But if you're interested in doing doing it by yourself you should you should absolutely consider that as well because it's uh, likely that you're going to need a little bit more in-depth knowledge about setting things up if you're going to work professionally but as a beginner it's a good first step so apart from that understanding uh, things like json understanding how net like http like just the protocol work how to send web pages to a browser of some sort and understanding html understanding css understanding basic javascript so you can actually create a web page uh, these are the things that are common for anybody who wants to do any type of meaningful development regardless of if you want to work on the back end or on the front end it's these are like without these components you cannot produce a working website. So let's start with that. Cool. These things are now out of the way and the basics are up, up there. So when it comes to PHP, there are a few takes on what you should learn, but I'll touch on the stuff that I myself have worked with and how, what my coworkers and I did and at my previous job and so forth. So one of the first things that is useful to know is Composer. Composer is a package management, package management system for, uh, for PHP. Uh, there might, I think that there are a few, uh, might be a few others, but this is by far and wide the one, most popular one that I know about. If at least that's what uh, the, the one that I use and all of my co friends and coworkers have been using. So it's a very good, it's a very good uh, package management system for PHP. Apart from that, I suggest you have a look at Symfony. Symfony is a, well, it's not just a framework, it's a collection of libraries and tools in order for you to do the sort of things that a web framework traditionally would help you with. Some things such as routing is very, like the routing in Symfony is pretty nice uh, because, the, and the problem with giving you this recommendation is that Symfony is an underlying library for some other frameworks that are even higher level. An example is if you take a look at say Laravel, which is also very popular, it's a popular framework. It, which one you're going to pick, it's unlikely that you're going to use both. You're going to pick one over the other. And although Laravel is very popular, Symfony allows you a little bit more flexibility because you can actually pick what parts you want as a part of your own workflow. So the problem with me recommending something for PHP is that there is no, when it comes to frameworks, is that there is no very a clear definitive giant on the market in terms of web frameworks that completely outdoes everything else because 
even though things like Laravel ha is fairly popular, there's still quite a lot of websites out there who are just using vanilla PHP. Like just off the, like it's actually very fun. It's very common if you visit a website for you to see that these file definition or in the URL, you actually see it ending with .php. And then you know that it's a PHP site. So that's, I, I'll just give you that. I'll just tell you that knowing a framework, it doesn't have to be Laravel is very, a very useful thing. And Symfony is a very useful thing to know as well, regardless of which framework you actually pick. And then apart from that, I highly recommend that you have a look at PHP unit, which is a unit testing framework, framework for PHP. Uh, it's, uh, um, I won't say too much about this, but learning how to do unit testing, regardless of if it's PHP or any other language is a very useful thing. I mean, you're going, in order for you to do professional grade software development, you will need to at least know how to do unit testing and PHP unit is pretty much the de facto standard for this. And then finally, I will just kind of touch and say that one of the problems with being a beginner with PHP is not that PHP is bad, but rather that there is an entire suite of very specific tools that may or may not be relevant to you. So the things that I've touched on just now is the bare bone basics of how to get started and kind of be relevant for just doing any type of generic PHP development. But there's also another level to it because PHP has quite a few higher level products that is associated with it, such as WordPress as an example, or Magento or Joomla or Drupal or things like this, where these frameworks are an even higher level, like these are products in of themselves that were designed to help specific businesses with specific business problems. And I'm not saying that you should learn these, but depending on your region, it might actually be very relevant for you if you're going to be a PHP developer to learn one of these platforms, because it might be the case that you're not going to find all that many jobs that are just using pure vanilla, like they just do, they're just making a regular web, uh, word, uh, not a regular WordPress site, they're actually building something from, from scratch with PHP. It does happen and it is not, it's not uncommon, but you should know that there is quite a lot of situations where a company will expect you to know something like WordPress or Magento or something like that, just because that's the platform that they are selling to their clients. Because traditionally, PHP isn't used as much for really, really large scale systems development for big, big IT companies. It's usually used for mid-sized companies and things of this nature. And they usually have a need that can be accommodated by these tools. And that's why they're so popular. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you're a junior PHP developer and you want to start off learning the things that are relevant for work purposes, I highly I encourage you to just learn the basics first and foremost, like a database, learning how HTTP works and HTTPS, learning how JSON works, learning how a web server works, Apache is a good first bet, and learning how to actually just set all that up so you can serve up a web page of some sort. And then of course learning PHP itself uh, as, the, as a language learning something like Symfony is a very good investment or Laravel or well, there are a few other frameworks as well, but these two are probably among the most relevant ones. PHP unit, just so, you, so that you actually understand how to write unit tests in PHP, understanding object-oriented programming. And then finally, depending on your region, you kind of have to go out on your, on your own here and look at the job postings. It might be the case that you need to learn a higher to a higher level tool such as WordPress or similar or Drupal in order to effectively work with PHP because quite a lot of companies actually use these tools when or these platforms when they work with PHP. Hopefully this was useful to you. Have a great day.